Before we start the video, the winner of the 106 Dragons Raw giveaway is Trunks Tree. So check your Epic Games friend requests when this video is live, and I'll get this to you as soon as possible. So this week I'm going to be giving away a Shadow Shard typewriter. As you can see, it's got max legendary perks 30 damage 30 damage element crit rate in damage and affliction damage and what it is oh I messed it up and what it is is an assault submachine gun mid-range assault weapon with high capacity magazine and lateral kick its shooting profile makes it ideal for clearing groups of nearby enemies in mobile engagement so i've already crafted it so let's go and see how this works. Let's see if I'm able to do an encampment all on my own. Look, power 94 enemies, and it's two-shotting them. It's absolutely two-shotting them. Just melts through everything. It really does. Do that. See, all right, let's kill this guy. One shot with the affliction. Let's just get one shot headshot, see what happens. Well, the affliction, no, the affliction doesn't kill this dude. But still, I've done the encampment all on my own. This is also a power 94 4 player mission, so the power won't be 94, it'll be like 106. But as you see, exploding death burst, healing death burst, and slowing the attacks, that's going to really make this a lot harder to use and show off. Right, so we've got a smasher, and watch, watch how much it shreds through him. Absolute shreds. Let's look at the DPS. Right, I just want to empty the clip and walk cry right to see how much. Um, DPS I could possibly get with this, so let's do the clip. Reload. Warcry. It's not updated yet. 340,000, wow. That's a lot. Healing death burst is quite annoying. Started and there's loads of tunnels, so I've got to be careful not to blow any of these up, but it will absolutely shred the majority of these husks. Okay, there's a bit of a glitch there, where they're not actually dying. Either that or I'm lagging a lot. I'm not lagging. I don't think. Oh look, we got a smasher. Okay, I'm not lagging that mad. But it absolutely melts through anything. I'm sure you can't see it as well as you should be able to. Get a little hole there. Probably shouldn't be this far forward. and the smash is dead. This is easy, you just melt through them like a nice big butter. I don't, it, am I the only person getting this glitch where it seems to like stay when you kill them? I feel like I am. I've not heard anyone else mention it. But look, it just it melts through every husk. It really does. Get this one, this hole. Melt through the smash, you look how fast its health goes. Just absolutely dies. Doesn't even take a clip. War cry so everyone can melt this guy. Oh, Vortex. Right, the other guy should handle that. I'll finish off the ones that are, aren't doing as much damage, but will do. Kill them high level. So it smashes pile up, but look, it melts through them so fast. Not even a clip. These guys melt, melt. absolutely shreds through it. It's one of my top five assault rifles, it really is. But it does melt through your ammo, like if you see how fast my ammo is going down. That's what annoys me with this. Well, not annoying me, it's just, I don't know. Every gun has its drawbacks. 
but this one it just eats the ammo really fast. Okay, yeah, but it melts. Through. These are power. These are power 109, and my my gun is underpowered 106, and it's still melting through these. Imagine if I got this sunbeam, 30 sunbeam. How well this would be melting through us. There we go. For a quick summary, the typewriter has a very, very high DPS. It will shred through the vast majority of husks, smith monsters, anything. It's also got a large magazine size, which I really like as well. Because as you saw in that, it would just kill a normal smasher in about two thirds of a clip. So I could still have, you know, ammo left over to finish off other husks. The only drawback really is that it just eats the ammo fairly fast. But every, as I said earlier, every weapon has its drawbacks, and that's this one's just eats your weapon. I'm also going to be giving away this weapon as normal so all you've got to do is comment your power level and Epic Games name in the comments to be entered and the winner will be announced next week.